Okay, hi everyone. Um, yeah, uh, how should I start this? First of all, I want to thank my Patreon patrons for, um, not necessarily, like, helping with the bills, but it's enough to buy me a milk tea and make making videos a little more, like, rewarding. So yeah, thanks for the milk tea. So yeah, if you appreciate what I do, um, you can visit my Patreon or buy me a coffee. It also helps that there's sort of a soda shortage where my usual like rotation of Coke Zero, Diet Sunkist, and um, Pepsi Zero Sugar is not available. So yeah. And I guess I'll stop with the whole like register and go vote thing now because that ended. Unless you're from Georgia. Please, we need two more Senate seats. And that's only for a whole like 50-50 split of the Senate. <sighs> I wish there was a two-thirds majority. Because if you know, or if you know your political science or history or US history or suffrage or modern suffrage, that a two-thirds vote can overturn a presidential veto and pretty much you can amend the constitution with that but the likelihood of it is not that great but then again if you're like one of those people who can support trump and ignore the fact that he splits families to show that it's an example for other families to not cross the border especially when this country is built from running away from another country which is people running away from the king of england or whatever and also the fact that he ignores climate change, and he mocks people wearing masks, and then he gets COVID, and then he also ignores the nation's top infectious disease doctor, and then effectively like shuts him off from the national press briefings, and then uses those as a platform to promote himself. And if you support Trump, it's like you think Jesus Christ knows what's best for me, and um... No. And then there's also the fact that if you support him, you're basically anti-vax, a flat earther. But yeah, um, just because Trump is out of office doesn't mean there's other crazy po people that aren't in the office either because there's a QAnon person now um, in Congress. <sighs> um, but yeah, at least my country isn't alienating itself and insulting everyone. <sighs> Why can't I be Singaporean? So anyways, I got these non-underwear things from Dananda because I don't really have things to buy now. Um, whatever I see online that's cheap, it's like either it's ugly or um, it looks not so appealing that I just have to get it. So yeah. And then I bought these a long time ago and then there's no gym to go to so I just put it off. And now I literally have nothing to make, so I'm gonna get to this. But yeah, if you follow other people from the US and you see them in gyms with masks on, that's their choice. Um, my state allows for the gym to open only if the gym can put their equipment outside because only outside activities are allowed because of well ventilation. So um, not all gyms have the luxury to move their equipment outside, which is mine. Uh, so I've basically been just using two sets of dumbbells and trying to retain my muscle mass while losing weight because I had nothing better to do. Ugh, I'm so sweaty. I'm supposed to be cold. Damn these lights. So yeah, this is from, these are from Australia. Home of Margot Robbie, um, Hugh Jackman, Chris Hemsworth, Dingoes, Vegemite, Koalas, yeah, I don't know. I don't know Australia's greatest export. I guess it's Kylie Minogue. So yeah, uh, maybe in March, I, I was on the Aussie Bun website and I saw this sale and I was like, oh, maybe it's time to get these. Um, one of them is rugby shorts. I don't know anything about rugby besides the fact that it's like the version of American football, but opposite that is it's played by the rest of the world, other world, or the British Commonwealth. Yeah. Um, and that they wear short shorts instead of those tights, and they don't wear helmets, maybe, and they don't wear shoulder paddings, or maybe they do. 
and there's no like thingy. Yeah, I don't know. So I was gonna go crazy and buy like several pairs, but I was like, I'll just buy one for now because I don't know how this and this will end up. So I got this one. It says something about surfing. It's very the like crotch parts very like I don't know why. Well anyways, I'm wearing these Dolce and Gabbana underwear that is like two sizes too small for me because um, I got sent XS when it should have been S, but I'm an M now. Yeah. Well anyways. There is a Fastener? <laughs> well, it looks nice, but I can't really go like this unless I wanted to like jam up my leg. Ooh, but, okay. I definitely can't run because I'm gonna like split this. I also have like a pimple here, so I'm gonna try it. But, not bad. I don't look too like. <laughs> Not that it's a problem, but. How does my stomach look? These, I don't think I can squat in just because of the range of motion these don't allow for. But this is more for like a hot day and you want to go out and buy like a cool drink and then that's it. <laughs> So anyways, refraining from buying two or three pairs of short shorts, I decided to try out their tights because um, as you may know, I pretty much exclusively buy from Under Armour just because I know their fabric quality is really good. Um, but this was like so cheap that I just wanted to try it, so it was like 20 bucks or something. So at that time, Under Armour didn't really have anything good on sale or there was like no good promo codes. Although there was a recent one, but then I was like, I don't go to the gym. I can't go to the gym until maybe like next summer. So I just put that off. Um, but yeah, here's a design. I don't really remember how it even looked because it's been so long since I ordered this. So I got the least like crazy looking one. I know I make Tron references a lot, but this is literally like if you know the Tron light cycle ride in Shanghai Disney, this reminds me of it. Also FYI, this is pretty much just like summer spandex type tights. They're not warm in any way. I haven't worn tights in so long. Even now when I go on walks, I just wear sweats. These are not as black as I thought they were. I can still see my skin through this. So these I can definitely squat in because I can literally like go like that, but you can see my skin probably. Can you see? <laughs> Yeah, you can definitely see my underwear. There's no jock strap wearing for these. But they look cool.
<laughs> so, um, yeah, I literally wore a plain top just to like balance the craziness of this print. And even this print isn't that crazy. But, but yeah, I would definitely um, wear dark underwear with this. <laughs> Um, unless you want to send um, discreet messages. <laughs> I'm so hot. But yeah, these do feel nice on, and then like the design isn't stuck on. It's like in the fabric, so it's printed in. It doesn't feel different from the fabric itself. <sighs> okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's that was it. <laughs> um, so hopefully I'll get this up by the weekend. If you're a Patreon patron, then you'll see it up pretty soon. Um, if not, then you'll see this four weeks later. Uh, other than that, if you like what you see and want to help me out, you can like and subscribe and join my Patreon patron, or you can just buy me a coffee and I'll be like on my way to get a milk tea on my weekly trip to the grocery store. <laughs>